廿八題嘅呢個 graph 咧，就係講緊一個女性嘅子宮內壁厚度嘅改變嘅。咁啊 ，x axis 係時間啦 ，y axis 咧就係子宮內壁嘅厚度啦。咁成條題目就問我哋啦，喺邊一段嘅時間入面咧，呢、這個女性係最似係會懷孕嘅 ？After copulation 即係交配啦。咁成條題目咧就考我哋兩樣嘢嘅。第一樣嘢咧要我哋估算翻咧，究竟呢個女性幾時排卵先？咁但係根據翻呢幅圖啦。子宮內壁口薄嚟嘅啫喎，兩 Sir， 我頂多都係知道幾時嚟 M 嘅啫喎，咁就啱啦。因為根據翻教學版嘅二十八日月經周期咧，其實月經就係喺排卵嘅十四日之後發生。咁即係反翻轉嚟計啦，嚟經之前嘅十四日就係排卵啦。咁所以啦，睇翻呢幅圖咧，嗱，如果冇間尺嘅，自己拎翻把間尺出嚟間一間啦。好，咁呢個女性大約幾時嚟經期咧？咁啊，大約係呢一日啦，開始跌啦，係咪？咁呢一日咧就係、是、四月嘅二十八號。咁如果我哋向前推十四日嘅話咧，咁即係大約四月十四號咧就係、是、排卵嘅日子啦。跟住啦，就去到第二個要考我哋嘅 concept 咯。為一個受孕期，我哋就要去知道返啦，精子同埋卵子嘅大約嘅壽命啦。咁一般嘅書呢都係講㗎啦，卵子呢大約有一到兩日命。精子咧就大約有兩到三日命，咁即係話精子咧可以提早去到個女性嘅子宮，跟住就慢慢遊到去個輸卵管就去揾只 egg 咧，係咪？所以啦喺十四號向前吞大約兩到三日咯，第一日、第二日、第三日，咁即係精子咧。大約喺第十一號入到去子宮咧，都係有機會揾到粒卵子嘅。而卵子嘅壽命咧就大約一到兩日，咁啊一日就係十五，兩日就去到十六，咁即係話啦，去到四月十六號咧，只卵子都仲有機會存在咧，就係、是、等精子嘅來臨嘅。咁即係話大約咧就係十一號到十六號。咁有冇邊個答案係最遲咧？答案就係 C 啦。所以 question twenty eight， we need to study this diagram showing the changes in the uterine lining of the Woman. So in the x-axis it is a date, and in the y-axis that's the thickness of the uterine lining. So in this question, it's talking about during which following period would the woman most likely to get pregnant after copulation. So the first concept the question is checking is to ask us to estimate the possible date of ovulation. So for this graph, it's just showing the uterine lining thickness change. But you may ask that in this graph, I just know the changes in the uterine lining of a woman. So how can I know that when should be the ovulation from the graph and according to the twenty-eight day menstrual cycle? So we know that menstruation occurs fourteen days after ovulation. So what if we can estimate the date of menstruation and then count fourteen days before it should be? The date of ovulation. So based on the graph, menstruation will occur on around twenty eighth April. So that's why fourteen days before it should be fourteen April. And then the second concept we are checking is the lifespan of the sperm and the egg. For most of the textbook, they will say that the egg can survive for one to two days, and the sperm can survive for two to three days. So for the sperm, they can arrive the uterus maybe two to three days before. So that's why one day, two day, and three days. So that's why the sperm can enter the uterus on eleventh April, and then wait for two to three days. And wait for the egg, wait for ovulation, and at the same time, the egg can survive for one to two days. So that means one day and then two day. So the egg is probably still alive on sixteenth April, and then wait for the sperm. So it is a high chance for eleventh to sixteenth April. It will be the fertile period, and that's why the answer is C.